do a little bit of a speed test between both of these devices. Now the iPhone 12 has that Apple A14 Bionic chip inside of it with 4 gigabytes of RAM, where the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 has that Qualcomm Snapdragon A45 chipset inside of it with 6 gigs of RAM on that base model and then 8 gigs of RAM on the top tier model. So let's go and see which one is the faster phone between both of these. Okay, now that we're back, let me go ahead and clear all the apps in the background. As you can see, Note 9, easy to just swipe out of all of them. The iPhone 12 took a little second. So let's go and hop into all of them. Let's go and do phone calls, three, two, one. And definitely I think the iPhone 12 was faster there. Gesture wise, they I think the iPhone 12 may be a little bit smoother there. Messages, three, two, one. Okay, I don't really know which one I think it may be the iPhone 12. Let's do their app stores, three, two, one. And you can see, I think the Note 9 may have been a little bit faster. It was extremely close on both. I don't really know if there was a complete faster one, but that was definitely something that was very interesting to me. Let's go and hop out of this one. And as always, I have a bunch of these third-party apps. Well, not a crazy amount, but a good amount. Let's go and do Facebook. Three, two, one. And again, the iPhone 12 is the faster one there. Let's go and hop out of this one. Let's go and do the next one, which is Snake versus Blocks. Three, two, one. And you can see the Note 9 was slightly faster just by a little bit. That was something that was very surprising to me. Let's go and get into some gameplay and see if they glitch up at all. And I don't think they are. I think they're going to be roughly around the same. So as you can see, we kind of have the same thing going on. So that's actually very, very good in my opinion. Let's go ahead and do whichever this one is. Paper IO2. 3, 2, 1. And actually the iPhone, the Note 9 was faster there too. Now this is something that's very surprising. I never really understand how, you know, the differences between these because sometimes, I mean, you would think the iPhone 12 would be faster because it's way newer, but that doesn't really seem to be the case. In terms of gameplay, let's see if there's a huge difference and it doesn't seem like there's going to be. Kind of seems like the same thing going on. So let's go and hop out of here. Let's go ahead and do Temple Run. Let's go and skip that. Let's do Thank You. Three, two, one. And you can see the iPhone 12 slightly faster, not a humongous difference, but slightly faster on the iPhone 12 right there. Let's go and hop out of this one. Let's go ahead and do Temple Run 2. Three, two, one. And I totally screwed that up. Go and do Temple Run 2 again. Three, two, one. And you can see the iPhone 12 is slightly faster than the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Again, not an insane difference, but definitely a noticeable one. As you can see, the Note 9 just got into it where the iPhone 12 was in it for a couple of seconds before. Now getting into some gameplay, let's see if there's a big difference. And as always, I don't really think there's going to be an insane difference. So as you can see, it is what it is. So let's go and hop out of here. Let's go and do the next one. Bofa, three, two, one. And then iPhone 12 was definitely far faster than the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 for sure. Let's go and hop out of here. Let's do Fruit Ninja, three, two, one. And for some reason, the Note 9 opened it. Then it closed out, and then it randomly opened back into it. So I don't know what made it do that, but it's very weird. And eventually we get into it on the Note 9. So animations and everything are always going to be faster on iOS than on the Samsung side of things and just Android in general. Let's go ahead and end it off with stack. Three, two, one. And as you can see, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 was able to get into the app faster overall. So... I'm kind of confused about this specific speed comparison. You know, I was expecting there to be a consistent winner every single time. And honestly, I was expecting the iPhone 12 to be the faster one every single time, but that didn't end up being the case. The Samsung Galaxy Note 9 was definitely a faster device in so many different cases. So I think that's honestly pretty interesting. I think for sure when it comes down to it, the iPhone 12, it's probably the smoother one, but the Note 9 was faster in some cases. So that pretty much covers up the speed comparison.